Good morning, my name is Reed Robinson. I'm the Vice President of Sierra Gold Nurseries. A question we often get asked at Sierra Gold is what sort of preventative protection do we provide to help prevent the spread of diseases like band canker? Like many other common pathogens, band canker is caused by a group of organisms which are found everywhere in the environment. The presence of those pathogens alone will not necessarily indicate disease. It will take a combination of plant stress, susceptibility of the variety or rootstock, presence of the pathogen, and wound entry points for the disease to manifest itself. Therefore, when we have to answer the question, how do we prevent band canker, it's not as simple as we spray a chemical. It's a complex equation involving excellent plant health, a whole nursery approach to sanitation and best practices in the sourcing of material, and yes, a good dose of plant protective chemicals. We understand that establishing an orchard is an incredibly important long-term investment, which you're counting on us for. And that's why we thought it would be helpful for our growers to walk you through our process so you know that we are doing everything we can on our end to make sure that the orchard from us will be there for the long term. Hi, I'm Charles Brandon and I'm the leader of the plant health team at Sierra Gold. Everybody at Sierra Gold takes plant health seriously as we know it is the most important factor in producing high quality trees. The plant health team itself is a team of nine dedicated applicators who work full time on preventative plant health. Over the course of the year, members on this team will make thousands of individual applications for preventative plant health. All these applications are targeted with a broader strategy in mind and are based around the idea of what we call control points, which are the concept that no plant or material comes into or leaves an area without first being sanitized, protected, and sourced in the cleanest way possible. Control point one is our rootstock and budwood propagation orchard. To ensure all propagation material harvested every winter is healthy and free of bacterial, fungal, and viral pathogens, preventative spray applications happen on a very strict schedule. Throughout the growing season, February to October, we are out here with air blast sprayers every two to three weeks depending on disease pressure, insect pressure, or if weather conditions are conducive to disease development. Nearly every spray contains a fungicide, bactericide, or disinfectant, tank mix with the material targeting typical problems during that time of year. Throughout the harvest season, December to January, we are spraying within 24 hours of material being removed from this orchard. This spray is always a bactericide, fungicide, and specialized sticker to ensure all pruning wounds are completely protected after wood is removed. These orchards are on a nine year rotation, so every nine years trees are removed and new virus certified tissue cultured trees are planted. Control point two is our rootstock processing area. This is where all rootstock taken from our propagation orchards is sorted, bundled, and protected. After bundled, the cut end of each limb is dipped in a protectant fungicide. Next, the bundles of protected rootstock are placed in bins full of sterilized fungicide-treated wood shavings, which acts as a callusing area for rootstock until we are ready to plant in an Ellie pot. The budwood processing area is a similar procedure. Wood is cut to size, dipped in sanitizing solution, dried, then placed in bags. The final step is the processed budwood is sprayed with the fungicide in the bag and sealed and placed in cold storage until we are ready to bud trees in the spring. Throughout the winter, these cold storage rooms are fogged with disinfectants weekly to eliminate any pathogens that may be present. Control point three is our tissue culture lab. This area is where we propagate tissue culture rootstock into specially designed sterile growing media. Several precautions are taken in the lab to ensure sterile conditions are maintained. These include daily contamination checkpoints, constant disinfection of tools and work surfaces, HEPA filtered air systems, autoclaves, and weekly ultra low volume fogging of grow rooms and media preparation areas with a variety of disinfectants. In addition, old material is discarded and new material is introduced into culture every three years, sourced from clean plant facilities. Control point four is what we call our acclimation tunnels. This area is where tissue cultured rootstock is brought in and planted for the first time into our soilless growing media. These young tender rootstocks are very important to be protected every five to seven days once placed into a tunnel. We use some unique equipment in this area to ensure excellent coverage of the thousands of trees contained in each tunnel. The main piece of equipment used in this area is an ultra low volume fogger which distributes fungicides, bactericides, insecticides, and disinfectants through very fine particle size to achieve complete coverage of the entire plant surface. Chemigation systems are also set up in each tunnel, which can deliver protection materials through irrigation water. 
Control point five is our greenhouse areas. This area is the next step where plants are moved after spending several weeks in acclimation tunnels. This high density area is protected every five to seven days with a variety of fungicides, bactericides, disinfectants, and insecticides. Chemigation through the automated boom system is the main application method used in the greenhouses. Hand sprayers, automated foggers, and ultra low volume foggers are also used to apply a variety of chemicals. Control point six is our outside canyards and shade houses. This area is where trees are budded, then will be grown to sellable size, ready for planting in your orchard. Trees again here are sprayed every seven to 10 days until they are shipped with chemicals appropriate to the time of year. With a large number of sprays applied to trees, rotation of mode of action and tank mixing is very important to ensure resistance does not develop. Every three to four weeks throughout the growing season, we inject systemic fungicides and insecticides, which are then taken up by the tree. Disinfectants are also injected through the system several times throughout the year to ensure drip emitters stay clean and sanitized. Our last control point, control point seven, is simply everything else we use to grow your trees. From the soil we fumigate for the bare root trees to the clean and sanitary material we use for our container media, to the Ellie Pot container production system and the stake which holds your trees up. Every ingredient is sourced with plant health first in mind. If we can't get clean material to use to make your plants, we will not use it. If we need to reuse something, we sanitize it. And every last tree we make goes through an inspection process to make sure that every tree is up to our standards of quality because we know it has to be so that your orchard works for the long term. <laughs>